guys, it's your girl Mila V and welcome back to another video. So today we are talking all things arm strength. I'm going to be giving you four easy and simple drills to do with this band. I don't really, I guess this is called a, re, a resistance band. Um, the purple that I have specifically is I think medium as far as resistance level. And I love this little band. My kids call it Purple Snake. That's what they decided to name it. And I'm going to give you, like I said, four easy simple drills you can do at home that's gonna help increase your arm strength that I do in fact have my kids and my clients do. So without further ado, let's go get into it. So, the, this is Purple Snake. The first thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is step on the band. Now, the four ways that I'm going to show you to demonstrate is the first one I like to call parallel arms. So your hands, the back of your hands are gonna be facing the opposite direction of your leg. So in other words, your fingertips are facing your leg and we are going to pull straight up. I have my clients do five, and I made this look easy, I'm not gonna lie. Some of my kids are like, ugh, and I just keep telling them to pull as high as they can with parallel arms. Let me show you from the side what that looks like. Step on the band, and we're pulling straight up with parallel arms. Just like this. All these drills, you are going to be standing on the band. The next drill that I have my athletes do are called Y arms. So basically you're going to try and make your arms look like a lot. So we're going to go all the way up and pull. Once again, your fingertips are facing your legs and you're going to pull and down and pull up like you're trying to make a Y with your arms. Once again, I'll turn to the side so you can see what that looks like from the side. Pull and down. Pull and down. Pull and down. The next one that I like my athletes to do are curls. We all know what a good bicep curl looks like. It's the same thing with the band. I said this time your fingertips are gonna be facing the opposite side of your legs. So the backs of your hands will be facing your legs and we just curl, just like a bicep curl. This is the third one that I have my athletes do in practice. And this is all gonna help increase that arm strength. And side view. We're curling. Very simple. Very, very, very simple. We just curl. The last and fourth and final drill that we like to use a purple snake, I like to do a T. So basically that is bringing your arms to a T position. So your fingertips are gonna be facing your legs, arms by your side, and we are going to pull all the way up, like a T. <laughs> all the way, keeping our arms in a beautiful T position. Just like so. Once again, one more side of you. To make some of these drills harder, if you wanted to, you can always reverse your grip. So for example, for the T, my fingertips are facing my legs and I pull. If I wanted to make it a little different or a little difficult, you can rotate and have your fingertips facing away from your legs and the same thing do with T. This is gonna work a different muscle group in your arms, but you're still gonna be practicing that arm strength. So those are the four easy, simple drills that I have my kids do. I don't have them do all four during a circuit. I literally pick one and next time I see them, we do it again. Most of my kids dread Purple Snake. They do not like working with Purple Snake because they say it's too hard and it hurts their arms, but you have to earn the burn. <laughs> like you have to earn the burn if you want to see results. I got Purple Snake from Walmart, I think for probably like $15. So it's very inexpensive, but it's very beneficial. So you could definitely get this really at Walmart, Amazon, Dick's Sporting Goods, I mean, anywhere that sells exercise equipment you can get this from. 
your athlete can practice these four arm strength drills at home, you will see a big difference in bridges and cartwheels and handstands. Anything that requires arm strength, which is basically every tumbling skill in gymnastics and cheerleading. But these are really great to do at home. Once again, if you're gonna do it at home, make sure a parent or a guardian is watching you because we do not want any injuries. And with that being said, you're ready to do, like, share, comment, and don't forget to subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you in my next video.